Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a hair video, so if you'd like to see more, please stay tuned. So the hair that I'm going to be talking about today is a wig from Ali Pearl. They're a very popular Chinese vendor. Um, so I received the Brazilian Body Wave Lace Frontal Wig, and it's 150% density. The wig comes pre-plucked, which is good. Um, it saves you a lot of extra work. And yeah, just a few more details. Like I said, it's the Body Wave Lace Front Wig, 150% density, pre plucked Free pluck natural hairline with baby hairs. It's in a natural black color, 1B. The lace is a medium brown color. It is an adjustable cap. This is actually my first like lace front wig. I do make my own wigs usually, but um, I usually do closures. Um, so this is my first lace front wig, and I'm a little self conscious about the actual application but I think I did okay so I'm not gonna lie this was a little challenging for me you guys make this look really easy on YouTube I watch tutorials all the time and they always look pretty simple and straight to the point but it was a lot of work but I think I did an okay job as far as the hair goes the hair is really extremely soft it was soft as soon as I pulled it out of the bag I co-wash the hair and I let it air dry another thing that's good that I noticed about this hair is that it is body wave um, and a lot of times when you get body wave when you wash it um, it completely loses its wave and it almost basically looks straight this hair after I washed and let it air dry it still had waves in it which was really good to me but it, the actual cap size fits really well I had to adjust it a little bit in the back but that's what the adjustable cap is for but um, it's really snug it fits my head really well there are curls good as well um, no tangles or anything so far I think my only like disappointment or the only thing that I don't like about this wig is that you don't get a lot of at parting space so obviously it's ear to ear but the actual parting space is really short like the parting space ends right here um, when I first chose the wig I had planned on doing like a middle part however like I just felt like my part was too close to my head like my parts to go back you know pretty deep and it just didn't look right to me so that was the only thing that that's the only really negative thing that I have to say about it is that you don't get a lot of parting space it's probably like three inches of parting which really isn't that much but we'll see how it holds up I hope you all enjoy this video let me know what you guys think about this hair and this wig on me and stay tuned for the installation portion and I'll see you guys next time so we're going to start with a quick unboxing so this is how the hair comes packaged in this cute little alley pearl box your wig comes in a plastic bag label with the length you get a couple of combs just in case you want to sew the combs into the wig a scrunchie hair tie and a pack of lashes and it also has the maintenance and care instructions on the back of the box so this is how the wig comes right out of the box again this is the body wave the hair is super super soft and this is the hairline again this is ear to ear lace and it, it is a pre plucked frontal so it already has the natural hairline Here's the inside construction of the wig. So this is just a lace frontal, not a full lace wig. So it has the lace in the front and in the middle of the wig, it is wefted hair. So basically like tracks. And it also comes with three combs, two at the crown of your head and one in the back. And here are the adjustable straps, just in case you need to make it tighter. So I always wash any hair before I install it. So this is the hair after I've washed it. And as you see, it still has its wave. So I'm now I'm just combing the hair out and I'm going to start sectioning off where I want my part to go. And this just kind of preforms and sets the wig. So once I apply it on my head, I won't have to do as much work.
Now moving on to my braid pattern. These are my struggle braids. I have about six braids going straight back and two anchor braids on the side. And I'm going to be doing the stocking cap slash got to be glued method. So I'm using some of the yellow got to be glued and I'm going to apply a generous amount to my hairline. And this is just to create a scalp like appearance. So you definitely want to add a decent amount and you want this to dry completely hard you don't want it to be tacky you want this part to be dried so I'm just taking a blow dryer to it just to kind of speed up the process this part of it does take a while um, so I wouldn't rush it it's gonna take a while but make sure you have it all the way dry I'm also going to use some of the free spray as well just to kind of make sure it's stuck even more um, but yeah, if you don't allow this to dry properly, once you cut your stocking, it's just going to unravel and roll back. So what I like to do while I'm waiting for it to dry is I'm going to start working on my wig. So I'm making sure that my wig is completely dry and then I'm going to take a flat iron and just straighten the hair out a little bit. So once I put it on my head, styling won't take as long. And so once that got to be glue is dry, you're just going to cut away the excess stocking cap. And as you see, mine stays completely in place. So then I'm going to take my wig. I still have my lace on my wig because I didn't want to cut it until I seen how it fit on my head. Because when you cut the lace on the wig, you want to leave a little bit of the lace in front. Now I will say that I should have tinted my lace. I know I should have did it, but I was just being lazy and I did not do it. Being that I am a brown girl, it, it the lace was just a little too light and the stocking cap was a little too light as well. So I'm just taking some powder that's closer to my skin tone and I'm just applying it over the cap. Um, I recommend just getting a darker, make sure you just get the right color cap because this ended up making like the application really messy with the powder on it but anyways moving right along I'm gonna take some more of my got to be glue and I'm just going to apply that on my hairline and this time we're going to apply it to adhere the wig so I'm using some more of the freeze spray and I'm just going to apply it and let it get tacky not completely hard this time this time we're just letting it get tacky and then once it's tacky enough I'm going to pull the wig over and gently press it in using my rat tail comb. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, this was a process for me. Like, I feel like I was working on this all day. In the end, it came out okay, but if this is your first time, be patient and be patient. That's all I can recommend is being patient. So, yeah, I'm just making sure that it's pressed in and it's dry. And then I'm also going to take a blow dryer just to make sure everything's completely dry. And if you know me, then you know that I like for my wigs to be completely secure. So I have those anchor braids on the side because I'm going to stitch along this corner and along the back side just to make sure my wig is in place. Um, I'm one of those people who wear my wigs for at least a week or two at a time because I don't like reapplying my wig every day. It just doesn't work for my lifestyle. So yeah, I'm just going in along that anchor braid and just uh, securing the wig. Secure the wig 2018.
and this is how it looks after that side is completely dried and I have it stitched down and I didn't like the ear taps so I'm going to go in and cut my ear taps off so I can just kind of have my natural um, sideburn area so I'm just measuring it and gonna just measure it up and then just snip that lace in that way once I gel my baby hairs down it'll look more natural and now I'm just going to do some last minute customization so just gonna take some scissors and cut some baby hairs into the wig again the wig comes pre-plugged so this is not necessary but if you want to you can and now I'm taking some setting foam and this is going to set my edges but give it a soft look so it's not super crunchy and now I'm just taking a small brush and I'm just going to play with my baby hair until I get them to how I like them to look And then for a final step, I'm going to use some of the black got to be glued and I'm just going to set my edges. I got them how I like them and the black got to be in my opinion isn't as messy and it doesn't have as much build up as the yellow one does. So I like to use the yellow one to actually apply my wig and I use the black one for my edges. And this is what we're working with. So as you can see, the hairline looks pretty natural right here. So I'm just going to take a scarf and tie my edges down just to set the hair so it stays in place. Then I'm going to move on to styling. So I'm going to start by adding a couple long layers into the hair. Uh, adding layers, this is 20 inches, but adding layers just kind of makes it look a little fuller once you curl it if you want a full in-depth tutorial on how I cut my layers I'll leave the link to that video down below but after I add my layers I'm just gonna go in with this one and a quarter inch curling iron from Con Air and just throw in some messy curls And here is the final look. Um, like I said, I did struggle with installing this. It took me a while, but I think it came out okay. Next time, I'm definitely going to make sure I get the right color stocking cap. And yeah, I'm sure with more practice, it'll look better. But this is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Ally Pearl if you're interested in getting an affordable lace front wig. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.